Yo, um, <clears throat> what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your man Kamari, aka Reno Slow Motion, on here. I got a video response. Um, making a video response to, um, <clears throat> to J, J Love 47. He made a video and was talking about intersex and hermaphrodites and would you date one and um or could you see yourself dating one <laughs> alright so I've listened to the video I was gonna make this video respond a long time ago but something always came up and if it didn't come up then I was trying to figure out ways that I could address the video and <clears throat> After I watched this all over again, then I read people's comments, and um, certain people was like, one person said they would. It was a female said they would, but l most likely not. Okay, either you would or you wouldn't. That's my thing, and um, let them address in that. <clears throat> that those that don't know that are friends with um J Love forty seven, you know. I didn't know he was um gay at the time when I watched a lot of his videos. Um I thought a lot of his videos had a lot of out of intellectual outlook on it and, and it made a lot of sense about a lot of things, especially when it comes to certain things in the community or aspects on men or women, how uh, the world I mean, his opinions, like, usually hit right on. But, on this subject, he knows not that much on. He knows poquito in information on. But, um, I wanted to make a video respond due to the fact I am, um, I was born intersex. Um, and there's two types of, you have hermaphrodites, and you did say it right, Jay. You have a hermaphrodite and you have intersex. Intersex is not fully developed as much as uh, um, hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodites do have both genitalia. They are born with vaginas and they were born with uh, male equipment. And intersex are usually have male testes. Could have male testes. Also can have female anatomy and not know they have a uh, male testy inside them or they can also be born with the enlarged clit with <clears throat> which would have developed into a male anatomy but it didn't it didn't uh, go all the way through the term to become a penis um or do you have some that do have testes that never dropped inside a woman's womb um but also has a, a very big size, you know, equipment. It's 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 a lot of different terminologies for it. But me, I was born intersex. For those that don't know, that's the reason why I'm responding to this video. Uh, if you've seen a lot of my hip roll videos, some think I'm a female, some think I'm a man, some think I'm um, just don't know, <laughs> and um. Yeah, so, on this subject, I've had a lot, some viewers tell me they would date me. Mostly it would be the females. But my thing also, I look at this as being an intersex man who is also about to, who is transitioning to become a full-fledged man. There are, um, transgender, trans men who decide not to go through the steps of having lower surgery and end up with partners who are biologically straight women and have a heterosexual relationship see it's not mostly about what you have between your legs to identify who the person really is it's mostly how their mind frame is if you are a man with man mind man frame regardless if you have a vagina between your legs then you are a man and if you are female and regardless if you got a penis between your legs then you are female you know 
the way society always wants to stereotype is they want to give a gender before a gender should be announced and in my case my gender was not announced which I am kind of glad a little bit it did kind of screw me up with dating and did kind of mess me up about having a relationship I was never attracted to men and never will be attracted to men uh, due to the fact of me saying that is because I look at me as a hetero just I have a heterosexual mind but I understand how I am in the way I was born and where I'm going with my surgery um, being female chest do have both anatomies and um, I'm also going to go through surgery to remove uh, the female anatomy um, I think someone asked about uh, why didn't they do so up their the woman's area if it was supposed to be a girl and sometimes you can give an assumption about what you think is going to be the gender for that child but then think about it there are some trans there are some hermaphrodites that had the wrong gender picked for them and they end up having to go through surgery to correct what was taken from them see when you are born you see what you see but see if they see vagina and then they see a male anatomy they get rid of the female anatomy but who's to know that just because they see a female genitalia down there that that was not meant to be a boy and then later when they get older and more mature they're more male their hormones start developing their voice start dropping they become more masculine than female then they're not producing a lot of estrogen and see that's where a lot of people lack of understanding the differences um, it's really different it is hard to date someone that is like us and we take the respect and the concept of of um, of, um, of their understanding but this is something they're not used to and my thing is in this world everything is not going to be of the norm there are a lot of things that are unnormal un which means un under trying <coughs> unnormal but there is a such thing as understanding um, learning getting knowledge on the situation or the certain subject that makes you curious to grasp knowledge of it something different and me I'm very different and I did research upon me to understand who I was and the way I was. Uh, regardless of what I got between my legs, it's not justify who I am. I justify who I am. I dictate, give my dictation of the individual. Am I a man or I'm a woman? Or I just say, fuck it, I know I'm both. Because at the end of the day, I'm not living for society. I'm living for me. Now, in my cases, a lot of people say, well, they couldn't do it because, you know, probably because of how society would see them or if they were somebody who's born that way, then they'll make them feel out of place if a female was with, um, it was with a man and he had a vagina or whatever. But my thing is, like I said, there are trans men that are in my community that have female have male female genitalia but have enclosed enlarged clit um that makes now the penis and or some of them go to steps to go ahead and get bottom surgery and some of them just deal with the little penis they have but my thing is the size or what someone has does not justify who they are and in this world we're so caught up in these labels and these stereotypes and these social sites and these people telling you who you should be instead of you knowing who you should be. If you're not understanding of who you are, then you're going to worry about how people are going to judge you or perceive you. If you met somebody like me or you met somebody that was a maphrodite, you know, it is harder to date a straight person or date someone that is of norm 
than it is for us to worry about of dating or, or, or for it is for you to worry about us dating you see we already been through all the hate and the bigotry but then to date someone who might do the same thing in a relationship it makes it much 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 harder you know see I realized that a lot of people were so worried about what how people is going to um, dictate them that they didn't realize how people are already dictating us already and how we're going to be looked upon with your family, your friends, or anybody that knows you. That we have to walk a certain way and talk a certain way and act a certain way to please you. You know, so we step out of our comfort zone, which is trying to be ourselves to find a partner that can respect and understand. And a lot of people said, well, can't you get surgery? Uh, if you don't, insurance don't cover that. You know what I'm saying? They don't cover reassignment surgery, and that is what that is. They don't. My mother was on drugs, uh, so now I have to take the time to see if I can find an insurance that will cover my surgery. Which means to cover getting the female anatomy sewed up. And the one ovary I do have taken out, removed. See, where I was supposed to have two ovaries, I guess, if I was going to be a female, I have a testy in that place. And I have an ovary. And I have male genitalia. Um, I can't have any kids. It could kill me. A lot of y'all want to know stuff like that, but I wanted to make a video response because it's not about what we would date you, but you would be so worried to date us, but we're the ones who have to deal with the whole issue, not you, we do, because we're the ones called freak every single day. Why would you be with that freak? Why would you be with that thing? That that what? See. We deal with that, but we still know who we are. But what you want to deal with is if you be with someone like us, who are hermaphrodite or any sex, is how people's going to perceive you. Not thinking about it. if you love you enough, you're not going to fucking worry about what the rest of the world thinks about you and your partner. Because if love has no came in the world, love don't have no gender, and it does not have no verification. Love is just what that is. And if you can't get past someone's flaws and they accept all your flaws, then shit, that's kind of fucked up. In a society, I learned to love me and my uniqueness, but I can also take someone for their flaws. Now, if you can't accept me for my flaws, then shit, I fucking don't need you. Because I can't love someone that can't love me entirely whole, and I can love them with all of my being and all my extra parts. You see what I'm saying? Now only person that can judge me is God. The rest of the world can kiss me. Kiss my ass. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't overstep with the way the world is, needs to look at you and, and accept how you should be because you didn't been be with somebody like me or anybody else that's different, you're going to have a problem. It's not us. There's something wrong with us. It's how you need the society to dictate who you are. And we don't. Deuce.